We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and some Luna colors. Yeah, and because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw. Yes. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. We're drawing a cat dragon, which is it's a mix yeah. of a cat and a dragon. So we can make the face, try to make the face look a lot like a cat or a kitten. So first, let's draw the little nose for our kitten dragon. We're gonna draw. The letter V right here in the middle of our E. Yes, and then we're gonna draw the little part that comes down for the mouth, and we're gonna draw a little curve that comes out to the left and also out to the right. So we got our little. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, now let's draw the eyes, and we're gonna draw really big eyes. So first, let's draw an upside down U. We're gonna draw it right here. We're gonna come up around and back down and then we're going to draw another big upside down you over here and we're going to try to make those match this one got a little bigger than this one but that's okay right yeah because we're practicing the most important thing is to have fun yeah and to practice and to practice yeah okay now let's start here and we're going to draw the outside or the bottom part of the eye that's going to come around and connect to the outside so we're, we're trying to keep the little point here on the inside and then curve on the outside. And then we'll do the same thing over here, come out and curve in to complete that eye shape. Then let's yeah, draw the okay. inside of the eye. We're going to draw a big circle. But the circle is connected to the inside of the eye. Yeah, we're drawing really big eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're gonna draw the other side. We're gonna draw another circle that comes around to try and match with the left eye. Yeah, there we go. But I think the bigger you make your eyes, the cuter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's draw another little circle inside for the highlight. I'm gonna draw this other one right about here. It's kind of in a random spot. There we go. Okay, we're gonna color in these eyes later. Let's move on to the next part. We're gonna draw the face or the head. We're gonna draw the cheek and also the chin. We're gonna come right underneath the mouth. Then we're gonna come up and stop in the same spot where we started over here. So we're trying to match on both sides. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the head. And we're gonna, or the top of the head. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a big kind of forehead shape. And then we're going to come back down Forehead. and connect mm -hmm. to the other side for the other cheek. Wow. Yeah, we look super cute. Good job, Hadley. Two, I love that our two drawings three, don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. Five. Now let's draw our little kitten ears, but these well, are kind of head. horns, too, and <coughs> part of the spikes on our little dragon. So first we're going to start here, and we're going to draw the kitten ear that comes out like this. And we'll draw it over here, too. There we go. It's kind of nice drawing it. Period in one way and then back the other way. Yeah. And then we can come back down and connect into the head on both sides. Now let's draw even more lines coming out of the head. We're going to draw a medium size line that curves into the cheek and we'll match that same over here then the next one we draw is going to be a little smaller on each side and we're trying to match on both sides and then let's do one more that's a lot smaller than all three of them cool okay now let's connect all, all of these lines together I'm gonna to start here and we'll curve into that line and then let's curve down to this one and down to this one and then let's do the same thing over here. We'll curve down, then to the next one, and then to the bottom one. Oh, it's looking really cool. That's awesome. Okay, now let's add, ooh, we could just add maybe another spike right here at the very end, just for fun. And you could add extra details to your drawing too. Let's also add little texture lines to the horn coming out like this, and just draw curves. Going all the way to the end Papa. of the spike. And we'll do the same thing over here. And when we curve on this way, it makes the horse look more 3D instead of just drawing monster. straight. Yeah. Who's a monster? 
Let's draw a little curve that comes out for the paws at the bottom. And then we'll draw the bottom of the foot or the paw on each side. Ooh, I'm going to come in a little closer so that the paws are bigger and there's not as much space in between. I'm trying to make those look the same on both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the inside of the foot coming up. We're going to draw it coming up like this. And we're going to connect to the shoulder. So we'll do the same thing here too, and connect to the shoulder. And we also need to draw the little claws. I'm gonna draw little spiky claws at the end of the paw, and maybe one more. So I've got four, I'm gonna draw the same amount over here too. <laughs> and then we could draw the scales going down the belly. So I'm gonna draw a little point here, and I'm going to add another point, and we're going to go right down the middle of the belly. Okay, now let's draw a curve that connects to that point. It will come down, and then we'll go back out to connect to the outside. Kind of adding a little design to the scales going down our little kitten dragon's belly. It's <laughs> cute. Yeah. And then I'm going to connect all the way down at the very bottom. Yeah, Now let's also add little spikes on the top of the tail. I'm going to draw a little spike here, leave a space, another little spike, and space them out. And then towards the end, I'm going to get a little smaller until I get to the very end of the tail. Then let's also draw a line that goes down the middle of our tail like this. So I started close and then got further away. So it gets a little thicker towards here at the bottom. Then we're going to draw the scales similar to what we did for the belly. I'm going to draw them going this way. Draw curves, and then we'll come up and then stop. What should we add next? Whiskers. Oh, whiskers would make it look even more like a kitten. Let's do it. We're going to add one, two, three right here, and three on the other side too. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make these match, so maybe we'll make these a little longer. There we go. <laughs> oh, we could also add a few more little spikes or horns. I'm gonna add a little horn right here on each side. Oh, maybe we could add a couple on the forehead too. I'll add one here and another one on this side. Oh, and maybe one right in the middle. <laughs> so we got these upside down V's, and then I'm going to draw a curve to connect the bottom of each V. Papa, Who's ready to hatch some cool pets? Click here to pick your. 
Now, you could add even more details to your little kitten dragon, but I think we should leave it just like this. We're not completely done, though. We still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part is going to look so much better even colored in. Let's first pick out the colors that we're going to use. Okay. We're using our Art for Kids Hub right. alcohol base. Pick out a color. I'm showing you marker highlights. Like, 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 yeah. Oh, what is it going to be? No, I don't want to use that. You can also use a different brand of marker. What did you think? Thank you. Yeah, you're a dreamer. I picked out two Yeah, it's kind of a color, even though it looks tan. Yeah. 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 This is going to be orange pinkish color. Yeah. This part will fast forward, but then we'll talk more about what we did on our drawings. Okay. First, we're using our color. So I'm using 82 purple, and you have 63, which is a really cool turquoise color. First, we're going to add this little shadow up here. I'm going to color in kind of a shape like this. to our white colored pencil. I'm first adding you. extra white on top of the little highlight. You clip on the the you clip on the the thing that you to sweep in the these little highlights. Je l'ai vu. Tout le reste. Color your drawings any way you want. You could also use a different brand of marker. You could even use something completely different like colored pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. Yeah. What colors did you pick out? I picked out 25. Yeah, it's kind of a pink color, even though it looks tan. Yeah. Or peach. And yeah. then I did 63 for the eyes. Cool. And 34 for like the horns and stuff. Mm -hmm. And 97. Awesome. And then the colors I picked out are 25 also, and 54 green, 59 green, and 82 purple for the eyes. And my dragon is going to be green. I think yours is going to be... Like an orange. Orangish, pinkish color. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, this part we'll fast forward, but at the end we'll talk more about what we did on the drawings. Okay. Actually, before we wait till the very end, let's talk about what... We're doing to our eyes. First, we're using <coughs> our color. So I'm using 82 purple, and you have 63, which is a really cool turquoise color. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to use our black like to layer on top. Okay. So first, we're going to add this little shadow up here. I'm going to color it in kind of you, you shape like this. Huh? Huh? So I'm going to draw an upside down U curve and layer on top of that purple and we'll do the same thing. 
on the other eye, you draw that upside down uh, curve, upside down U, and color in the top part. You also want to make sure that we're leaving these little Highlights make the eyes look okay. even shinier. And then we have a black colored pencil and also a white colored pencil. And we use the black colored pencil to add a little gradient on this part. So we're going to blend the black marker into the purple. So it doesn't have this hard edge. It's more of a gradient where it starts black and then it fades into the purple. And then we can do the same on each eye. Yo, yeah, that looks amazing! Then let's switch to our white color pencil. I'm first adding extra white on top of the little highlight that we already have in there. Let's make it a little bigger. We could also even add another smaller highlight next to it for the reflection. And we could also even add a little highlight down okay. here in the purple. I'm just going to add a really light highlight. Ah, these look really cool. We need to do eyes more like this, don't you yeah. think? I think we should. I think also I'm going to add a color to the white part of the eye and also add a little shadow up here. So let me pick out that color and we'll come back. So I have 182. I'm going to add this right here at the top of the eye and then also down here. You can leave this off. Are you switching to the horns? Yeah, I'm going to see how it's going to look when I, like, when I get it off. When you finish? Yeah, and then I'm going to add it. Add maybe it after. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'm going to add this, just this blue shadow at the very top of each eye and go around the outside of the eye too. Okay, you ready to fast forward more? Yeah. I picked out a few more colors. I'm gonna use CG1, which is a light gray, to color in first the skip.
OK 呢，在我的手表上面，今天晚上会打雷吧？你不怕我呀？为什么怕？打雷我怕吧，是因为会砰。为什么大人不怕东西？你不怕那么多东西呀、啊？因为他知道打雷是怎么来的。哦。蜘蛛呢？为什么有很多大人不怕蜘蛛？你蜘蛛就不会咬你。有的蜘蛛会呀、啊，你觉得蜘蛛没 disgusting 吗？只是有的，没有，哎对，蜘蛛会咬啊，就说不要怕。OK， that's what's to 怕。OK， thank you for telling me。Bye bye， 你很好看啊。我学的吧，爸爸，你记得以前，你还有几，你还有几节，还有我，我们都，我们拿一个喷雾，然后我们把一个纸拿去包一下，很像一个 ice cream cone， 然后画一个 ice cream 吗？人拿个 ice cream。嗯，你记得吗？记得。我不记得那那些在哪里，还有我我的很像什么？可是地球啊，爸<笑>爸、嗯，你也记得我？你还有姐姐也画我们三个，把 print 出来我们 picture， 然后然后呃。然后画画画出来呀、啊！我画我自己最好笑的，你记得吗？那你,你也记得吗？记得。好笑吗？要不要再做啊？<笑>我都不知道那纸到哪里去了。扔掉了吧？扔掉、哦，当然扔掉了。坏蛋，扔掉了。当然。家里面谁是坏蛋？当然。去洗个，乌鸦，乌鸦，喂球的呀，谁呀？谁扔掉的？扔的，姐姐扔掉的。嗯。你不要追。妈妈，你看。那他怎么做这个呢？他直接拿一个 marker， 然后还他直接拿一个 marker， 然后我来去做顶点了。他要做这样子的 marker， 那样子的 marker。他要做这样子，有点 blue 的还是什么的 marker？ 我们有没有 marker？ 我们有 marker。去拿一个 marker 出来，拿一个 blue 的，还有那个 orange 的。所以说，一个我有要啊。拿出来给观众朋友看一下。
那不，你我觉得你也要，如果你想要，你可以直接再放一点点 purple 在那上面， color pencil 还是 marker？ 要不要？不要。不要。好。耶、yeah.。画完了，嗯，不然你要不要画他在他 background 啊？嗯，我等等他画了啊，你画的差不多了没有？我要等你啊。嗯，不然你可以画 background 啊，你不要画 background。你会不会 bored 看着我？不会，你画的很好。Thank you， 你的我你的画很好啊，爸爸。嗯。要不要叫妈妈出来看你画的？不用。好。妈妈，妈妈，过来，看我画画。我给你有了。哇，我家好。你看他画一个邓蘑菇啊，你这个画这么好看、啊，哇，真好看、啊。爸爸的好看。我今天画的也精致，好像。你画好啊，你画画有没？嗯。爸爸画的好好看，说爸爸的好看。千万千万的，我讲最近的嘛，我最近最近画的。哦，你是啊，你啊，嗯，那最中意的。你怎么都画到呀？嗯。我讲我讲。
你可以给我看我的art 我不知道什么时候我可以带回家我在R Okay, I'm done. I think we're almost done. I'm going to go around my entire drawing with the black marker just to make the outside border a little thicker. I like how that looks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our kitten dragon so it turned out perfect. Yeah. This is my new favorite lesson. <laughs> I think it's fine too. At least one of them. And I think we should especially add these kind of eyes to our drawings more often. Yeah, I really like the color. Yeah, at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a fun way to make them look super... Cute. Yes, cute. <laughs> <laughs> I also really like that you added baby wings and cute little things. Yeah. You guys can pause the video to add even more things to your drawing. You could add really big wings, or you could even draw the background. Maybe a kitten dragon maybe lives in a cave. Or maybe on top of a mountain. Oh, maybe that was really cool. I also really like that you can uh, look differently than wings, mine. Uh, and I hope our earthlings will take time to color their drawings. Oh, Remember, you can change your drawings yeah. any way you want. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later. Let's see you later. Bye-bye. 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 来，我们再把它说的画一下，就是把外面整个画一下。
。那你的 dragon 子会走路啊？哇，这个真不太对。Thank you。要不要画你？要不要写你的名字在你上面啊？不用。